Today I'm getting through this miniature very quickly. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. So another miniature primed in grace here. This is a roaming monster called Buer. Buer? 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 I don't know. Weird looking name, weird looking miniature. Anyways, we're starting off with a quick little dry brush of Tyrant's skull. We're doing this on the parts that are like skull or bone that's left that got ripped around from the flesh. Some Volopus pink now on the tongue and the inside of the mouth. We're doing some Guilliman flesh now. We're going to be using this on pretty much the arms, legs, anywhere with the skin. And if there's a little bit of fur there, we're going to touch that up later on with the next um, contrast paint we're going to be using because uh, it could be a little bit darker and that's fine because I wanted to make it a little different here. I want to know also if anyone has ever tried like gray sear and then did like a dry brush of white above it to see if like there makes a big difference instead of having black and white to really do like that zenithal highlighting. Anyways, if you have, comment down below or even join my Discord and show me some of your pictures if you want. That link is in the description and you're free to join it and talk about your hobbies and what you're painting and all that stuff. I'd love to see what you're working on and what inspiration and all that stuff you might have out there because maybe it'll get me inspired to paint certain different things. All right, some skeleton horde. Now we're we'll doing this on his hooves, uh, that torn leg, this thing here, whatever is missing skin. And that skeleton face that seems to also be missing some skin as well. I don't know what happened to this creature, but yeah. Anyways, it's pretty interesting. And it, what's fun is it's super fast to do and super easy, especially when you're using contrast paints. And I can't wait to get the new ones. Looking forward to it. It should be shipping today. Sorry, yesterday because <laughs> of when I recorded this. Or depending on when you watch this, could be months from now and I already have those contrast paints. Gorgrunta fur is next. Uh, we're doing this on all that fur of his. And you're going to want to put this on very thickly and just let it work into the recesses. Uh, let it get in there and create that highlight you want. Uh, you're also going to get those spots like you see on his legs there. He had some fur, so I went over that again. And on top of the golem and flesh, it just darkens it down. It doesn't do very much to it. And then we're going to finish off this miniature with some Iandin yellow on his eyes. And uh, that's it. There you go. Boer is painted, ready for the table. The base was done with some swamp, swamp green gel and some moss. And that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one.